generations. And now, the power of two restores the one. We got a bidet! Batman, over here. What happened? I... You need to see it. He's down that way. We're trying to help him, but... We managed to save him from bleeding out. The clouds. We think it's some kind of booby trap. Until we get someone here with an X-ray, we can't risk moving him. Let me see what I can find. I can't cut him down until I'm sure this isn't some kind of trap. Dilated pupils. Signs of head trauma. Shrapnel. It's an old wound. Some kind of device. Pacemaker. Did John do this? Get these people back. It could be a bomb. We need to clear the area! Back up! Oh, oh God! Oh, God! Oh, God, no! Jesus! It's safe to cut him down. 
We're past the sick punchline. Guess this is the world we live in now. Turns your stomach. Jim. Still on that side of the police line, eh? And do they know you're the type of guy who warns criminals about GCPD stings? You're lucky I can't do anything about it. Waller can me. Right in front of that lowlife Wayne. You remember him? She overstepped. You shouldn't have been fired. Well, that's one thing we can agree on. You treat her like you treated me. She'll come after you, too. Just a friendly warning. Vitals are dropping! <laughs> Easy now. Don't move. Oh, Jesus. Now this time off, it's given me some time to think. Back in the day, it was only the gangsters you had to worry about. Now, cops are cut open and filled with carnival toys. Makes you wonder, how'd we get here? I look around, the streets are the same. The only real difference is Batman. This is just one ex-cop's opinion, but these freaks came out of the woodwork because of you. You gave them the target. You set the bar. Gotham's in bad shape. You feel it on a day like today. I do all I can to keep these scum off the streets. But I can't do it alone. Help me fight back. You weren't interested in keeping scum off the streets when I tried to bring in Catwoman. We didn't make a good team. Before she got here. Maybe I've been holding a grudge for nothing. I don't know, maybe I'm the dinosaur here. All the good people were the ones going extinct. This John Doe guy probably won't stop until you're dead. Try not to take the rest of us with you. Batman, Bullock's asking for you. I track a stolen van full of clowns. So I followed to see what they were doing. Easy, Bullock. No, I gotta tell you what I saw. They picked up a drop. Was John Doe with them? They left a box. Oh, goddamn freaks. Authorized by Wayne Enterprises, and signed for by Chairwoman Regina Zellerbach. Regina can't come to the phone right now. This is her assistant. This is Bruce Wayne. Oh, hello. Tell Regina I need to speak to her. I'll be there shortly. I'll let her know. Thank you. Prices have been holding steady, despite the events of the last few days. But who knows how long that will last, once word gets out. Our CEO brought known terrorists into the building. A sec Excuse me, what's going on here? Speak of the devil. We were just talking about you and your friends from upstate, Bruce. Behind my back, ma'am. Seems to be your style, Regina. He looks like he hasn't slept in a Is week. He drunk? You must have known this was coming. Your connection to these felons, it could ruin the company. You have left me with no choice. 
Nice try, Regina. But we both know you're the guilty one in this room. What are you talking about? Care to explain this? You've been authorizing some interesting shipments. What is this? Automatic weapons? Grenades? <laughs> Bruce, truly, I never signed this. I've never even heard of this. <laughs> Bruce? <laughs> What's going on? Start talking! Oh. A priest, a rabbi, and a CEO walk into a boardroom. Priest says, it's a trap! The rabbi says, Joker tricked us! Call security! The CEO doesn't say anything! Cause he's dead! <laughs> Did somebody call for backup? Eyes on me, Brucey. If you care one iota for these suits, you'll stand down. I mean it. Get those hands where. What did I say? <gasps> Next one's in a noggin, Bruce. I swear to freaking God. Nice work, Kent. You're really moving up the career ladder. This woman needs help. What do you want? Thank you oh so very much for asking, Regina. What do you think I want, sweet cheeks? The serum is gone, Harley. It's over. Ain't over till it's over. I was inspired to think outside the box. Oh, here comes my inspiration now. I bring you... Joker! This meeting is now called to order. Regina, good to see you again. Bruce, buddy. Put her there! It's just a handshake. Well, no need to be rude. Surely someone else will be hospitable. If they know what's good for them. <laughs> well, that was shocking. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> uh, Bruce, it's been too long. Just finishing up a grand tour of this delightful city. Visited some of our old haunts along the way. But this, Bruce, this has got to be my favorite. My and Pop always said I'd make it to the top one day. Dreams really do come true. I gotta thank you for the inspiration. You told me if I just work hard and keep my head down, I could run a place like this. John, stop this. It's not too late. Joker, now! You really think I'm going to listen to you? After what you did? <laughs> Can you believe this guy? And now, for my first executive order! You remember that pesky virus, don't you, Bruce? We found a way to make more of it. A whole lot more. <laughs> Wanna do the honors, Puddin'? Oh, honey, you know me so well. <laughs> to be friends, Bruce, but you ruined it, and now we get to be enemies. Don't you thought Rootloo was bad? 
Penguins. Huh? Lady Arkham. None of them knew you like I do. I know just how to press those buttons. See that little but very powerful bomb right there, Gotham? We got a hundred more where that came from. Planted all around the city where you'll never find them. Except for the ones I'm setting off now. No! I sent your friendly neighborhood police force a list of demands. First and foremost, Batman's head on a pike in Gotham Square. He's the one who stopped. Oh, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> You got 24 hours to make good. So chop chop. <laughs> She's something else, isn't she? All those demands. I've only got one. Stop me, Bruce. Be my best enemy. Be the man I need you to be. I will destroy you! <laughs> so that's a yes! <laughs> oh, toughen up, little canary. Guess you fell off that ladder. Keep the masks on. No survivors. Too bad. You done catching up, Mr. J? Place is uh, starting to stink. We're done. For now. We are going to have so much fun. <laughs> Till next time, Brucey. Bruce! Bruce! I'm here. Oh, thank God. I saw the news. <sighs> Harley and Joker. In the wind, I'm afraid. Officers should reach you shortly. I don't have time for that. I'm headed to the lab. But are you all right? I have something that might lead me to Joker. Computer, on. Al, sit rep on the areas impacted by the bombs. I'm on it. Joker and Harley are using the attacks to cover their escape. The authorities have no leads on where they've gone. Harley said they planted bombs throughout the city. I got a piece of fabric off of John. Could give us an idea of where he's been. Let's see what we can learn from this thing. Analysis, trace elements, anything recent. It's chaos, Bruce. 
bringing up drone coverage on the blast sites now. The bombs have an explosive component in addition to the chemical payload. <sighs> Disperses the virus across a larger area. One of the bombs detonated on Gotham Bridge, the primary route out of the city. People, they succumbed to the virus as they were driving. Authorities have shut down the east side and peninsula bridges. For now, there is no way out of Gotham by car. There were multiple explosions along Mercy Street Station, with Gotham General Hospital at the center. They're estimating the death toll at... We have to stay calm, Al. Focus. They've closed off the docks. It seems they had to. No one is sure how long the fallout will take to dissipate. That cargo ship, was it... Operational? Unfortunately, yes. Everyone aboard was dead within seconds. At this rate, it seems as if nothing can stop them. Maybe. But Joker hasn't told Harley my identity. If he had, she would have taken my head off back there. Perhaps their partnership isn't as stable as they'd like us to believe. He's keeping secrets from her. At least for a time. If I can split them apart, it could at least buy us some time. And we can use that to our advantage. I suppose the question is, how? A number of foreign particles have been detected on the fabric. There appear to be traces of wine and wax. Pollen, too. It's a start. Joker said he visited some of our old haunts. It appears that he blames you for what he has become. If he hopes to defile the memories of your time together, it will be with more of these chemical bombs. So you want to cross-reference those locations with... With the elements found on the fabric, yes. Mm, that could just work. It has to. It's where I found him, surrounded by those agents. No trace of wax. The candles in the funhouse are all fake. Nothing here I'm looking for. Divinity Church. John managed to track me here after he got out of Arkham. Lucius's funeral. Those candles look recently burned. Traces of pollen are coming from the flowers along the altar. Communion wine. Could be a match. Divinity. My god, he truly is a monster. People are afraid. They'll be looking for solace. The church will be full. Harley and Joker knew this when they planted the bomb. Al, contact the agency. Tell them where I'm headed. Right away. Stay alert. Gotham is in a state of panic. on the whereabouts of Harleen Quinzel and a man calling himself Joker after a string of biochemical attacks across Gotham. 
Footage of the suspects was released from inside Wayne Enterprises just moments ago. Warning, what you are about to hear may be disturbing for some listeners. I sent you friendly neighborhood... Waller. Batman. Thank God. I wanted to talk to you about Harley's demands. Portraits of her and Joker painted on City Hall. The brain of Riddler's killer. And my personal favorite. All agency operatives must leave Gotham within the next 24 hours. Except for Amanda Waller, who'll be shot out of a cannon at the stroke of midnight. You know these maniacs better than anyone. What's your take on this? Don't give them anything. Once you meet their first demand, they'll just keep coming back for more. I don't intend to. Personally, I'm not too keen on being a firework over Gotham. I've got a lead on another bomb. They may have planted one in Divinity Church. I'll do what I can, but I'm stretched thin. Those clowns hit one of my transports, and there's unrest forming across the city because of their demands. Asking for us by name. It's designed to turn the city against us. Bomb goes all the place to worship. People might just throw us to the wolves to save themselves. I'm starting to wonder if there's a damn thing we can do about it. This is bigger than us, Waller. It doesn't matter what the people of Gotham think. It's our responsibility to save them. I'm not letting anything happen to this city, Batman. I fought too hard for too long to let a couple of clowns break me. I'm sending one of my agents to the church now. An EOD specialist will be close behind. Seems to me like both of us can use someone we can trust right about now. Good luck, Batman. Waller out. Our beloved Gotham is under siege, from all sides. It is here we gather in your eyes, oh Lord. Oh, 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 oh. Everyone, out! <gasps> what the? Move! Get out of my way! Please, everyone, calm down! I said out. That includes you. <sighs> That's one way to clear the place. Avesta. Batman. Waller sent me to assist. Agent Fox. I heard about this on the agency channel. I know this church. I'd like you to meet our newest recruit. Batman. Special Agent Fox, ready to assist. This is dangerous work. Stay out of my way. I've calibrated my drone to scan for traces of the virus. You can take the controls while I analyze the data. You still want me to stay out of your way? Try to keep up. Gas masks. I'll make sure no one else tries to come inside. Let's get started. Sinking now. Not much trace. Unlikely the bomb is here. How about the North Pews? No, nothing here. Traces are minimal. Probably not here. Scandal lectern. I'm picking up some traces, not enough for a bomb. Here. Jackpot. This goes off, it'll kill everyone in a five block radius. Then you'll find a way to disarm it. If we could just see the internal components. Here goes. Harley said 24 hours. There are no numbers on the timer. Was she telling the truth? 
looks in sync with the timer. This bomb has a signal receiver. It can be detonated remotely. I can see wires. Let's get a better look. Damn it. Oh, God. It's a trap. We have to identify the wire for the timer. Cutting it should prevent the bomb from going off. Activating electromagnetic imaging. A fail safe. If I cut this wire, it will activate the bomb. Found the timer. That's the one. It's safe. <sighs> Hold on. Getting some strange readings off the bomb. I'll do a more thorough analysis and let you know what I find. What's that? Love, your best enemy. This is all just a game to him. All of the suffering and death, just for a laugh. Got something. The paint on the bomb, it's made of a unique solvent mixture. I cross-referenced it with the chemical manufacturers in Gotham. Got a few hits. Send the list to the agency. Done. GCPD officers are being sent to scout the locations. I better get back to it. There's a lot more data that needs analysis. So, till next time? Thank you, Agent Fox. We have a lead on potential locations. Oh, good. Iman. Destroying Riddler's blood. It was a terrible mistake. It escalated the situation on the bridge with Harley. Everything spiraled out of control into this. And now we have Joker. I see how I helped to create this monster. Now that I've seen the destruction firsthand... You can't feel guilty, Amon. But it turned out wrong. You did what you thought was right. A lot of people died today because of it. A lot more might die. Ma'am, backup is here. We have EOD on standby. What are your orders? I guess this is our opportunity to keep that from happening. Get EOD prepped for disposal. No one comes in here without my express consent. Batman. They say you should never meet your heroes. I'm pretty sure they're wrong. It's done, Waller. So I heard. Good work. I've got Gordon on the other line, says he has a lead. But he'll only talk to you. I trust you'll handle and report back. Patching you through. Jim. Batman, I've got a lead on Joker, a solid one. I'm at Ace Chemicals. I need you to meet me... Uh, damn it, Batman. I can't do it. Can't do what? You can go to hell, you son of a bitch! Jim! <laughs> Oh. Go 
warden. My new friend, if you beat him to death! Don't worry, I've got something else planned for you. <laughs> Go on, don't be rude. The map, I promised. All the bomb sites are marked with a smile. <laughs> My gift for you, new best friend. Isn't that right, Gordy? No, that nickname doesn't work. Uh, Jim, Jimmy! Jimmy here led you right to me. There was no way we could meet their demands. Joker offered me the bomb locations in exchange for you. I, I couldn't go through with it. Oh, don't beat yourself up, Jim Jim. I've got people to do that for you. <laughs> Besides, you were the perfect bait. <sighs> I'm sorry, Batman. You've seen the devastation this virus can cause. I understand, Jim. You did what you had to. Take the map and get out of here. Okay, you Jimbo. Run along and save Gotham. <laughs> ah! Jim! Not too fast. I still have lots to do before my other half finds out I gave away the map. <laughs> Dump him in his car. <laughs> I will break every bone in your body. <gasps> Holy cow! I think I just peed! You know, I love your spirit, Batman, but you need to save it for what's to come. This is a marathon, not a sprint. That look, right there, that's what I wanted to see. You know, Dr. Leland used to say anger is often a response to feeling powerless. 
You think maybe? That's why you're so mad. Because I'm on top. Because I have you completely in my power. Because the tables have turned. Enjoy it while it lasts, Joker. When it's over, it won't be pretty. Now, now, Batsy. Keep on like that and you'll be heading for a timeout. Jimmy's just the first, you know. I have plans for all your friends. Not all of them have to die. Just whatever hurts the worst. Like with Gordy. You two will spend the rest of your days knowing what you had is poisoned. Harley's gonna be upset, of course. She wanted the whole city to drink virus mimosas. Someone would have survived like Riddler, and she'd have gotten her serum. You think she'll forgive me when she finds out? About the map, I mean. But nothing less would get Chief of Mustache to flip. I just had to have your staunchest frenemy betray you. The John I knew valued trust more than anything else. And now you're betraying Harley's. What do you think that means, Dr. Leland? I gotta say, it makes me feel uncomfortable when you put it that way. Uh, yeah. Thing is, Harley's perfect the way she is. <laughs> and if she does get sick, I'll be there to take care of her. John. Oh, well, hasn't this just been illuminating? We laughed, we cried, it changed our lives. Just goes to show you can't trust anyone in Gotham, can you? But I know you'll keep my map secret. Because if you tell Harley, she'll just set the bombs off early, exploding Gordon's dreams of being a hero. And who wants that? John? It's Joker! <laughs> Sit! <sighs> Play dead! <laughs> Good boy! to end up like the other losers. <laughs> I know it doesn't look good, but I wasn't just going to cut and run. I thought if I were free, I'd be able to do more to help. Or at least go find some backup to get you out of here. That's the truth. You look a little dubious. You believe me, right? Of course I trust you. <sighs> Thanks. Quite a scenario we find ourselves in, huh? Are you just gonna sit in that cart, or are we getting out of here? Just give me a second to get free.
No way to pick the lock. Damn it. Oh, here we go. Are you... Oh, I hate having to do that. are electrified. It's too far to just reach my inside. The electricity cooked them alive. We gotta get out of here. Great. Now push the key to me. I'll unlock the door between us. It only unlocks from my side. She's telling the truth! But she could also take that key and get out, leaving you trapped. And unable to help the other dinner guests. Because you know she won't. What do you say, Bruce? You're going to trust a thief. All right, coming your way. You should know by now, Bruce. You can trust me. connected to the floor. One of these agents tried that, but... Take it slow. What's that phrase? I'd walk a mile over broken glass. Well, eight feet should be a piece of cake. What could be more romantic than pulling shards from each other's kneecaps? Uh, it's okay. I'm okay.
constant fear, our most certain companion. No matter how alone we might feel, death is always waiting. These fleshy vessels, they are born to die, to decay, to wither and wriggle with maggots. But something of us always remains. Our greatest accomplishments, our darkest sins, and the sins committed against us, they never stay buried for long. Do they, Bruce? This will do the job. Oh God. You're so good at pulling people's hearts out of their chests, Bruce. What's one more? <sighs> Something underneath. What's he trying to say? John Doe is dead. There's only Joker now. He's claiming to know who killed Riddler. Probably him. Please tell me you're just blindly trying options. You're just pulling every string, aren't you? Ripped from his chest, still beating and 
spraying blood everywhere. What a mess. I hope you're happy with yourself. Are there any left? No, we placed them all. <laughs> what the hell? Someone's in there. I can't get it open. I'll find something else. Tiffany. I couldn't read. I've been in there for hours. How did you end up in there? And are you hurt? I'm okay. I'm okay now. I was heading back to the precinct, and someone hit me from behind. I ended up here. What is it? The final sticker. It looks like... That's you. So what? Joker thinks you killed Riddler. I... Uh, I... I'm not sure why. It's just... Tiffany, what did you do? Tell me, now! You don't get to order me around. Joker's right. I killed Riddler. You killed Riddler. I... He deserved what he got. And who are you? Riddler's friend. Selina! I came to this town to avenge him. <laughs> Riddler killed her father, Selina. This is Lucius Fox's daughter. Tiffany. Whatever will you do, Bruce? You're gonna have to turn Tiffany in because of your precious code. Turn her into your old friend Gordon of the GCPD. Wait! You got him fired! No, no, wait, he's not your friend anymore. Betrayed you. <laughs> God! What a mess you've made! Dinner is about to be served. The final guest awaits. Bruce. When this is over, we're gonna talk, right? Let's just concentrate on surviving this. <laughs> Welcome! Finally! So glad you could join us! <sighs> it's got a head explosion setting too! So play along. Nice. People never take the time to eat a meal together these days.
And since you care about these folks, well, as much as you care about anyone, you'll be a good little guest. Enough! I am done playing your games! Then I'd better give you some incentive! <laughs> ah! <laughs> There's worse where that came from! Believe me. Oh, Bruce is cranky. Probably just forgot to eat breakfast. Let's get some food in you. Open up! Come on. Go on. Put your lips on it. <sighs> Rude! <sighs> Bruce! We don't play with our food! Thanks, Puddin. You're so good to me. Alfred! He came as soon as he heard you and Tiffany would be here. You assured me no one would get hurt. Ah, uh, no. I said that people would get hurt if you didn't come. Not the same. You brought scones! Uh, stay clear of that one. Came out a bit charred. Well, luckily, Master Bruce has never been picky. They look good, don't they? Want one? Wow! This thing is real... Yeah, why not? Um, the one in the middle. Of course, you want the best one. <laughs> wow! I just love hitting you. Since the guests are all here, I want to show them the main course. That's a great idea. I'll have my pick of all of Gotham soon. So I'm kind of hoping the survivor ain't one of you. Doesn't that look good? Old family recipe. Hope you're all hungry. So, Joker, how does it feel to uh, lie right to her face? Uh, uh, that's not polite dinner conversation, Bruce. Do you really want Harley killing the whole town before we eat? <sighs> that might ruin your appetite. And Gordon, well, he won't even have a stomach left. So just play along. <sighs> Don't worry, dear. Puddin, I think it's time. I mean, not yet. We wanted to play with them a little longer, right? Uh, right. A game. Three rounds. One for each of Bruce's friends. Let's get to know just how awful each of you truly is. Think of it as your last confession. Raise a hand, or lose it. Alfred's going to get this party started. Read it. You need help with that, Mitty. <clears throat> Never have I ever... Lied to a friend. Now, the way that this works is, if you have lied to a friend, finger goes down. I know, your dad's a crime lord. It's really tough to tell a tween. Your turn. Pretty simple rule. And 
now, if you've lowered a finger, I get to do something terrible to you. Not you, of course. Never have I ever... used a friend. All of it. Manipulated them just to get what I want. Made them think they meant more to me than they did. We both know where you stand on that one. Good kitty. Oh, don't even... finger down! Not you, Puddin. You do you, hun. I got the cats. Thanks, babe. Bruce! <laughs> Next up, Tiffany! Never have I ever. You know what? I'm not doing this. Don't test us, lab rat. Test you? If I didn't have a gun to my head, I'd kill you just like I killed Riddler. Tiffany! And it'd be a whole lot easier. Because unlike you two, Riddler was smart. What did you say? I think the gal who fell into our trap just called us dumb. <laughs> Maybe we hit her too hard on the head. Or maybe not hard enough. If there wasn't a point zero zero one percent chance that you might survive the virus, I'd kill you right now! Read. Never have I ever... killed a person in cold blood. Oh. Didn't know the Girl Scout had it in her, did ya? Finger down, Brucey. You murdered John Doe. And it was as cold-blooded as you can get. And good riddance. Guy didn't have a lot going for him anyway. It's not true! He had everything! And you took it from me! Hun, he don't matter. Not anymore. You see what he does? Man! I really dodged a bullet, didn't I? You're a freaking mess! Look at these people you surround yourself with! Liars. Thieves. Murderers. And you think you're too good for me? I am so glad we're not friends! Puddin, I'm done waiting. You got what you wanted, right? Yeah, I did. Let him die a little sooner than the rest of the city. Gotham is safe. Joker gave Gordon a map of the bombs. The GCPD will have defused them by now. <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for that? All Joker cared about was revenge. So he made a deal. The map in exchange for me. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I totally crippled the guy. No way they'll get to all the bombs in time! Probably. Probably? You really did this? We'll have another this chance! This is my life we're talking about! You chose him over me? How could you? You know I need that serum! I'm gonna kill you! Babe! You gotta... <laughs> he defused the bomb! Alright, 
you clowns. Time to... <laughs> Sorry, baby. Can't we just kill and make up? Let's start with the killing part. See how we go from there. That's a problem. Move! Bruce, what should Tell I... Tell the GCPD where we are. I can't let these two escape. You got it. I should have killed you the moment I met you! Let's give it to him. Cute couple! They'll be cuter with their brains bashed in. stays put. Call me when we can do something a little less lethal. This ain't over until I say it's all. <laughs> <laughs> the shadow within your shadow. The tumor lurking in your soul. <laughs> You're wrong, John. You're no one. Just another nameless lowlife that I've got to put down. Come on! 
You should see your face! <laughs> John. John! Ugh, it's erratic. Come on! Come on! Please! I'm not a killer. <laughs> I, I wasn't a killer either, Bruce. Until I met you. <laughs> Remember that night? Drinking frappes under the stars. You dishing out advice about the ladies. Me. Finding out you were the bat, it was perfect. <sighs> you know, some part of me always knew. Someone like you? You'd never really be friends with someone like me. But I wanted to believe it so badly. <sighs> we had some good times. Didn't we, Bruce? It wasn't all bad. Yeah, sure. Some of it was fun. I, I hope you'll look at that scar and remember those good times. <laughs> you can sure take some punishment, Wayne. I'll give you that. Dish it out, too. I'm pulling my people out of Gotham effective immediately. I want you to know, you're square. Your secret is safe with me. After everything you've done, it's only right. I'll seal your case file for good. If my identity ever gets out, believe me, you are the first one I'll come looking for. Oh, I believe you. I've seen you when you're angry, Mr. Wang. I prefer not to have that directed at me. Anything else we need to discuss? Or is this goodbye? Catwoman. I thought you'd be pretty high on your list. You two certainly have been close. I've got a collar on her for now. But seeing how she put herself on the line against Joker, maybe I'd be willing to take it off. As a token of my goodwill. Catwoman has a sordid past. Past? <laughs> I'd say present, with decent odds on future, too. I'll keep a lid on that, but give her a fresh start. Clear her record. What record? Anyone else you're concerned about? What about Jem? Joker hurt him pretty bad. 
They're saying he might not walk again, at least not without a cane. He saved thousands of lives with that map. Trading you like that? He's clearly been taking lessons from the Agency. I'm inclined to give him a medal. Maybe his old title too, if he wants it. A tough old dog like him. He's good for a junkyard like Gotham. Jim deserves the highest honor. Like always, he put his duty first. It can't have been easy for him. So, what else? And Avesta? Is she going with you? Poor Iman. You really got inside her head, didn't you? I know it was her that destroyed Riddler's blood. She's gonna have to answer for that. I need to be able to trust the people who work for me. You get that, right? You better not lay a finger on her. I'm serious, Waller. You really have a low opinion of me, don't you? I mentored that young woman, fast-tracked her. Believe it or not, I actually care what happens to her. I'll see you around. It's always possible, Bruce. But I'll tell you one thing. I'll be over the moon if I never have to come back to this wasteland. All teams accounted for, ma'am. Airlift is en route. Thank you, Agent. I'll be right there. Agent Fox reported in. She's heading to evac point B. Make sure she gets there. Word is Tiffany Fox copped to Riddler's murder. That young woman showed a lot of promise on my team. Personally, I'd turn a blind eye. But I know how you feel about lethal force. I can bring her in if you want. Lay a charge on her. Unless that's something you'd rather take care of yourself. I'm aware of your history with her. With her father. Tiffany and I go way back. I'd rather deal with her myself. You'll want to catch her before the airlift leaves. <clears throat> Take care of yourself, Bruce Wayne. Batman. Going somewhere. Director Waller's leaving Gotham. I'm going with her. What's it to you? I don't condone killing. Not even criminals like Riddler. So you heard about that. News travels fast. Riddler had it coming. That maniac stole my father from me. From you too, right? What do you mean? I know you worked with my dad. I saw agency records that hinted at your collaboration. Did you care about my father at all? Or did you just use him to make your tech? Of course I cared about him. Lucius was my friend. Then you know why I did it. Prison walls couldn't stop Riddler. He showed that when he escaped Peña Dura. Taking him out was the only way to make sure he didn't do more harm. Leave more families without fathers. In the case of maniacs like him, the ends justify any means. It was the right thing to do. You sound like Waller. You say that like it's a bad thing, but she keeps people safe. At what cost? One my conscience can afford. It's been nice talking, but my ride is waiting. This isn't over. You will answer for Riddler's death. When you have evidence that'll stand up in court, give me a call. Tiffany. What is it? Your father's last words were that he loved you. That he was sorry he wasn't around more. You were raised by a good man. You have a good heart. 
Don't forget that. Don't let your anger define you. I won't. Thanks, Batman. Alfred, Tiffany's gone. Oh. I'm coming back to the manor. Uh, good. There was something I wanted to talk to you about. Something important? Better in person, I think. Then I'll see you soon. I was going to write a note, but I'm not a coward. At least I don't want to be. Not anymore. Then again, this won't be the first time I've found my courage in a single malt. Courage for what? Saying goodbye. I'm leaving, Bruce. It's time I went in search of better pastures. You just need rest, Alfred. Why don't you take a long vacation? Like we talked about. Some place in the sun, on the other side of the world from Gotham. I rather think this vacation will be permanent. But why? This war of ours is not what it was when we started. I no longer have the stomach for it. It's not sustainable. At least not for me. Come on, Alfred. You know I can't do what I do, what we do, without your help. Well, maybe you don't have to do it at all. Our mission used to be so clear. Catch the criminals, lock them up. But nothing is clear anymore, at least not to me. Now everything has become so grey. <laughs> grey? Talk to me, Alfred. We used John Doe, exploited his friendship to get you into the pact. We took advantage of someone you met in an asylum, for God's sake. Someone clearly challenged with a proven tendency to violence. Well, it worked, didn't it? If you call citywide devastation a success. You led John Doe to believe you were his friend. Turning on him when he killed those agents, that pushed him to become Joker. What's your point? Sometimes, it's as if Batman creates the evil he means to destroy. For all our good intentions, I fear we only make things worse. A dreadful thought, I know, but one that keeps me awake at night. Oh, please. There were plenty of criminals around before Batman showed up. I put most of them in jail. Two-Face, Cobblepot, Lady Arkham, Joker, all they have in common is you. Anyone who comes into contact with us suffers. Lucius is gone. Tiffany has blood on her hands. She's Waller's creature now, driven to her by our secrets. Another casualty of our mission. She was on Joker's guest list because of her relationship to you. Selina, too. It's a miracle any of us survived that ghastly dinner. But Joker certainly made his point. The lives we touch are touched by pain. Friends, colleagues, innocents. No one is spared. You think I want that? We can fix the problem, Al, but not if we run from it. Unless we are the problem. Leaving this all behind might be the only solution. One thing is for certain, my tremors are gone. <laughs> well, that's great news, Al. I stopped the minute I made the decision to go. I thought it was the kidnapping with Lady Arkham that caused them. Some kind of residual trauma. But I had it wrong. This sense of powerlessness I've been feeling, it came from something I saw in you. The tremors, the fainting spells, all of it. Alfred, I'm... I'm so sorry. I've caused you so much pain. No, no, please, don't misunderstand me. Let me explain. Your father was driven by an obsession, by a need to control. 
He rushed headlong into the darkness, thinking himself invincible, oblivious to the cost. Just like you, not like me. I chase that darkness away. And yet, history is repeating itself. I'm more certain of that with every passing day. Okay, maybe I am more like my father than I want to admit, but our paths are different. Can't you see? The paths may diverge, but they end in the same place. Face down in an alley, shot in the dark by criminals in some godforsaken corner of Gotham. I won't be witness to that. I won't bury you, too. I stood by and did nothing while Thomas destroyed himself, along with everything he loved. I enabled him, like I'd been enabling you. Realizing this, I've never felt so helpless. I wanted things to be different for you, my boy. You deserved a better life than the one I gave you. I failed you, and for that I'm sorry. You did the best you could, Al. In a single night, the family was shattered, and you were left to pick up the pieces. I may have picked them up, but I did a poor job sticking them back together. Well, I don't want to miss my flight. There's always traffic around the airport. You don't have to do it, Bruce. There are other ways of doing good in the world. But you, you pour everything into your bloody crusade. And I know you too well to hope you'll ever change. Alfred, wait. Would you stay? If I promised things would be different. Is that a promise you can keep? Like you said, there are a lot of ways to help. I'm sure the city could use a man of my talent and resources. Are you sure about this? I'll do whatever it takes to keep our family together, Al. Even this. So please. Tell me you'll stay. Well, maybe just one more night. fun, Joker. I just couldn't stay away. I knew you wouldn't be able to, Bruce. Let's get you ready. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha 